back to Griffin, Indiana on Farming Simulator 22 with me, PS Sim Gamer. This is my first recording since being back from holiday, and on here it's raining. Um, so, as you can see, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. I've only got 1,397 in my bank. Um, we're on March 3, so we have skipped on. And looking at this, as you can see, all the outgoing products have been sold. So it's not actually making a massive amount of money at the moment. So I'm wondering whether I should consider delivering it myself. Um, so that I'm not losing out on that percentage that you get from automatically selling. So that could potentially be an option. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to be earning more. And I have seen money has come off. And frustratingly, it isn't showing in the biogas plant income, if you can see. It's still at zero. So I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's gone into sold products. That would be my guess. So I'm not 100% sure um, what the situation is on that. So I, I do need to have a think about what I'm going to do next. Um, for a starter, I need to bring up some more, um, let's bring up some more manure, some more silage. Um, so that this is still processing. I need some more slurry in here as well. So I think that is where we'll start. We'll get the um, the bunker all set up. It's going to be an interesting few episodes to see where my income is going to actually come from. It's a big question right now. My, my experience with the biogas plant before has been that it's been a big earner. Is it just because I'm not producing very much in comparison to what I was? And that's why? But right now, my main focus is let's get more in there and see how we go. I also, I'm going to need to take some contracts. It's the only th other thing that I can do to make some money right now. We have nothing on our farm to process where I left you off was I was using the pottinger to um, mow as you can see it just takes so long it just takes way too long with that piece of kit so I think I'm going to return it oh, it's tiny, tiny amount of manure tiny okay um Let's do slurry. Let's see how much slurry we've got. This isn't um, going to help my cause, is it? Although I do have a lot of uh, stuff already processed and in the biogas plant. Okay, 1,500. So, not the best haul between the two. So we're going to need to rely on silage as our main income from the biogas plant whilst the the uh, cow population increases. And of course I can't increase it through money right now. So I'm going to need to get creative. So how has everybody been since I have been gone? By the time this comes out, it'll be a week later, because I do have six episodes that I recorded back to back, and I just didn't have time to edit them before I went. So you had a week without me. Nice quiet break. And, uh, well, I had a lovely time away. It was my parents' 40th wedding anniversary and my sister's birthday 
so we had a lot of celebrating to do and you probably saw in my videos the last six videos I put up some pictures from the holiday and you probably you may guess by the photos where we were we went to St Lucia in the Caribbean really beautiful I actually exceeded my expectations I'm um oh hello Luna the dogs are back they went they went to boarding uh, <laughs> and actually whoopsie you distracted me Luna um normally they uh, Luna is normally very grumpy with me when I go away she likes to let me know that she's upset with the fact that I went away this time she just ran and cuddled me and I don't know if that's because we've now got Roxy and she did that and the peer pressure of uh, of Roxy doing it but um yeah they they had a whale of a time anyway in boarding by the looks of all the photos um but anyway yes yeah, St Lucia exceeded my expectations we went to a sandals resort I've never been to a sandals before and always wanted to um and the reason the reason I really wanted to go there was I heard amazing things about their staff and I have to be honest with you it exceeded my expectations the people were phenomenal oh I actually in fact the people made the holiday the island is stunning but the, the people that worked at sandals it was it was almost like it was their own resort it's a completely different experience to what I've had in in other places um, and I've been lucky enough to go to a, 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 some really beautiful locations but this one was quite stand out this one was quite stand out and I'm very very pleased we went I'm always a bit um, worried about going to the Caribbean islands um, because of the the inside of course is where people live and there's lots of stray animals and it always makes me a bit upset um, but there was loads and loads of cats on this resort and they look after them so well they even look after the birds uh, it, honestly oh I was so chuffed I really was I had a whale of a time um, so yes, now I need to think where I want to go next. But I think next year we might just uh, drive over to Europe and take the girls on a nice holiday with us because we, oh, we miss them so much. We always do a, a holiday in the UK, either Cornwall or Devon. Um, which is down south as I have family down south in, uh, in Devon so we, we normally try and rent a Airbnb and, and stay down there and meet up with family um, so we try to do that once a year but we do try and go away and of course I, I, I get to go to Florida to see my husband's auntie so we try and do that once a year this year we did it twice um, but I'm all, all travelled out now and excited. I'm so excited to be back. It was a wonderful holiday, but it is nice to be home. It is lovely to be home. Okay, let's just see how much silage we've got in here. Okay. I'm wondering actually if I should take my bales instead, you know. Um, I do have bales here. The only other things I could sell those. Oh, so many choices here. Um, I put in the grass. You see, I've got two hundred odd thousand liters of grass in here. Uh, so let's transport some of this grass to the fermenter. And I think I mentioned to you, I do need to make some more TMR. I don't have much left at all. So I am going to need, um, I am going to need some for, 
for the cows at some point. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've only got 5,000 litres left. So I'm going to need to leave some silage for the for the girls over in the in the cow pen. So I think what I'll do is I'll fill this up. I'll put it in a fermenter so at least that's processing. Then I'll take over maybe 30,000 litres across to the biogas plant. See if I leave that to do its thing. What I don't want to do is have not be making as much money on silage as I can be if I was just selling it as a raw product. At the moment, it's obviously processing into to methane, which should technically be more. But I can't at the moment. I can't see if it is more because um, it's not coming up as a line item in the biogas section. So I'm a little bit um, confused as to what to do. So let's just take it one step at a time. Let's pop this in here, get this fermenting. We have plenty, plenty of grass. Okay, that's doing its thing. Great going going gone okay fabulous right let's let's take 30,000 of this then I think that's a th I think that's a fair amount I've got 45 in there 15,000 liters for the cows as I say I do have those bales as well That is the silage. Yeah, I do need to think about whether I want to carry on mowing the lawn with that uh, wagon. It's just quite slow. Um, it may, it, it's probably, whether it would be quicker than mowing, wind rowing, and then picking up with a forage wagon. That's a good point, really. I don't know. Because that's one process rather than three. Bit of a tight call, really. It is due to brighten up soon. You can see in the sky, actually, the rain should be stopping shortly. We hope, please. I want some sunshine. It is March. But, uh... It's normally April here in the UK. We get um, showers. Drip, 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 little April showers. You've probably heard that one. Ooh. Oh, okay. We can't put any more in there right now. But it is about, the hour is just about to turn. I forgot about that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the hour. Oh dear. I need to turn off the automatic saving, don't I? Right, let's speed this up a little. 6, 56, 57. There's the sunshine. Okay, right, let's just slow this back down. My income just go up then a little bit. It must have because it has just sold. But that that barely moved. I'm gonna have to look back at my recording to see how much that actually processed. That was a, felt like a tiny amount of income. I'm hoping that this isn't a bust. But I'm, I'm pretty confident that this was one of my biggest earners. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do that's different? 
Okay, let's have a look at the sell point, the prices and where I could sell it. Biomethane station. That is where I am. Okay. Is there anything else? Like, um, don't we have propane? I wish this was all in alphabetical order. So ethanol, no. Rock powder? Which one's that one? I've only got methane there. Oh, bless me! Excuse me! Okay. Is it because it's raw methane? Yeah, that's only gone up by, let's say, 800, money-wise. Hmm. Okay. Well, I am going to take this silage and sell it at the other biogas plant, the one which... ...gives money. Whoa! Oh, goodness me. I think we need a little bit... makes me uncomfortable having such little income. Okay. That's a little better. So, next... next job. Next job, next job. Let's have a look at contracts. Okay, we only have the one, and it is a bailing contract on 36, is that the one near me? Yeah, that is. Um, I might as well do that myself, haven't I, or with my own gear? Sorry, I've been away, so I cannot remember. Have I got, have I got a baler? Yeah, I do. And is it a wrapper? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll accept that contract then, but I will do it with my own equipment. So what I'll do is I'll see you up at field 36 with all my equipment and we'll get that done and earn some, earn some money, shall we? I'll see you soon.
another baling contract nearly completed. So I've just dropped off the other trailer. Um, I'm going to see if this is enough to complete the contract. Let's give it a go. 99%. Oh, isn't that funny? So I need one more. Whoops, sorry, some flowers. I need one more. Well, well, I be buggered. So what I will do, um, I think the easiest thing to do, if I attach this back up, um, let me just triple check. It is only ninety, yeah, ninety-nine percent. I don't know if I'll get the same price if I deliver them all as a whole. So I'm going to pop them here, reset the auto load, and then I'm going to go away as far as I possibly can and see. Oof, okay. Need to go away further. Okay, there we go. Transport. That is the contract completed. Wonderful. So let's collect that. I think I will reset. Oh, I think I will just sell these. Sorry, my little girls are barking away. What are you barking at, girls? Turn myself around. That's, that's Luna barking. She wants Roxy's yak stick. Um, but they both have one each. Typical siblings. I know, I'll help you in a minute. Okay, so that's another 6000 in the bank account. That's good. Okay, so I'm feeling a bit better about the situation we're in now. That's a bit of a relief. We are getting to the point where we're out of the hole, at least. Let's just attach these back up, if I can. I think Luna knows that this is... I always find driving these awkward. So she thinks barking while I'm doing it is funny. What's wrong? Okay, let's put this up here. And we're going to need to do some selling of items. I think, I think we've got a few things up at the farm as well. I think I saw some olive oil. Um, but let's check for some more contracts. There isn't any. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go back up to the farm. Let me just sort out these girls. Right. Swap yak sticks, please. There you go. Roxy doesn't care, whereas Luna wants the one Roxy's got. There we go. Calm down. All right, back to it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back up to the farm. Let's see what we have potentially to sell. Okay. So when we um, when we went to get our our second pup, um, one of the biggest reasons was Luna loved playing with other dogs while out on walks, and we thought, okay, she needs company. Um, and I work from home; my business is easy to run from home. So me and my sister have, haven't bought an office; it's not something we intend to do. So. It was perfect for having um, having company at home, and she always just wanted to play with me, Luna. So 
it was quite difficult to balance work and keeping her happy so we, we we got the other pup and they do keep each other company but just sometimes they have this sibling rivalry where one wants what the other one want, has got and yeah it's always very funny to, <laughs> to watch how they uh, how they communicate with each other so it's but they they've blossomed their relationship has definitely blossomed Right, I'm just going to jump the fence here. Grab the olive oil. I think what I might do... Oh, this is going to be really tricky for me to get through here with all these trailers, isn't it? Can I do it? Oh, I don't think so. No. Okay, I'll go up this way. I think I might sell the eggs. Because I'm a long way away from being able to do anything with eggs. So I may as well make some money from them. I'm just going to drive on my own field. So I can get a better angle. I also need to check on Ben. I don't think I've taken him out for a ride today. Okay, so we've got 662 eggs. It's not a massive amount, but it's something. Not stacking things very well today. There we go. Okay, let's move on over. We do have sheep's milk, but we don't have anywhere to sell it at the moment. So that is going to have to continue to spawn. At some point, I might have to move. Might have to move some. So we've got a pallet of lettuce. We've got a little bit of everything, haven't we? Go and have a look at our poplar, see how it's doing. I haven't been to see it for a little while. Yeah, it's doing its thing. Great. Okay, so olives. Let's pop these on the back. On this one need to decide what to where to put those which one needs it most or whether just to sell it and we've got a fantastic crate here of honey and I will take this half as well Okay, let's have a look at our production chains. So we have in here, let's have a look on the olive situation. Oh, we definitely need more olives at the all-in-one. How about this one? How's it going? We've got 1,000. Okay, so we'll drop those off at the all-in-one, I believe. And then we need to see where's the best place to sell everything else. But first things first, let's drop these off. We don't want the oil production to halt for any reason. Okay, so we know that honey can only be sold here, I believe. Let me just triple check. Oh, Uncle Pete's diner. Yeah, but we'll put it... We'll put it in here, the farmer's market. It's the best price for it. Okay. 
not big money, but money. Okay, let's have a look. We've got lettuce, we've got eggs. Okay, lettuce for here as well. When every penny counts, it's best to check. Then we've got cheese, eggs and olive oil. Let's just wait to see how much that makes. That one pallet. 526. Okay. Um, no, that's sheep cheese, not normal cheese. Corn oil. There's so many new uh, mods that have come out and a lot of this I haven't even played with yet. Ash, biomaterial, comp well, well, I know about compost. I haven't used it yet. Hops and hop pallets, that's going to be lots of fun. I'm just wondering if adult beverages are going to be added. Because we're getting all of the ingredients for it, for sure. Um, okay, the rest of it's going to be up higher, because this is all new stuff. Okay, let's get to the olive oil. So, Johnson's Farmer's Market's the best price again. Okay, great. You're getting all my business today, Mr. Farmer's Market. 3139 That is a good price, guys. Very, very happy with that. Okay, so now we need cheese. So let's take the back entrance to the grocery mart. So that's everything we have sold. So we got a good few thousand out of all of that. Definitely could have been better though. Um, we're in a little bit of a tricky spot because my plan was for getting the biogas plant in place so that that can start making some good money. Um, it just isn't making very good money it may be just the quantity that i'm putting in it's got to be the quantity versus what i was on my um on western wilds when i was playing western wilds i had huge huge quantities yeah it can do a lot more that's the thing we just don't have a lot more um, so we've got some more things to sell so okay 23701 let's let me write that down and let's see what we end up with let's see what we end up with when the clock turns. What are you doing, girls? Right, let me speed up time a little bit. Let's get us over that line. So that wasn't much, was it? That's 362. But then that is an hour. That is an hour's worth. So I could potentially... We could potentially get 300 an hour. It's not bad as far as things go. Um, let's put this back down to times three. Uh, let's have a look see if there are any more contracts there aren't this is uh, this is weird so I mean the, the next thing for me to do really is to 
mow more of my lawn. I haven't really got anything else that I can be doing right now um, until more contracts come up and I can start earning some money there. Nice thing is I've got money in the bank so I can hire workers to help me finish contracts faster and try and earn as much money as possible. That's going to be critical now. Um, I'm just thinking I might skip time to see if anything is going to come in in March 3. Otherwise, I will sleep, get to April and see what comes up. Let's, uh, let's just get back up to the farm. So there are no contracts. Um, I've just decided to carry on mowing this lawn very, very slowly. Um, I've put it on the truck so that seems to run slightly faster on the truck, I think. Um, and yeah, I, I took Ben out for a ride. That was lovely. So I think we're going to have an early night tonight. Go into April with a fresh new day. Hopefully lots of contracts to help us through. Um, so I'm going to finish this episode here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, please give me a like. It really helps me to know if you like the content. If you haven't done so, so far, please subscribe. And um, please feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you so much. And most importantly, have a great day. Take care now. Bye.